Welcome to Arizona Midday, everyone. I'm your host, Destry Jashan. We have a lot coming up on the show today. You know, losing weight seems like a never-ending battle for some of us, but there are tricks that you can use to help. Today, we're learning more about the surprising foods that we can eat and still shed weight from the author of Living Skinny in Fat Jeans, Dr. Felicia Stoller. Good to see you. Thanks for coming on the show Thanks today. Thanks for having me. All right, let's talk about your book. Tell me more about it. Well, basically, it's a book that's meant to help people to sort of debunk all the myths and misinformation that's out there. You know, there, I tell a very cute story in there about a guy sitting, a, a cartoon that I saw where a man is sitting across from his doctor and he says, but doc, you don't understand, fat genes run in my family. And the doctor says, no, you don't understand, nobody in your family runs. Uh, so Very that's really good. what it's that's about. True. Right? And it's always stuck in my mind and made such an impression on me. And I, I did go back to graduate school to become an expert in nutrition and exercise science. I'm a registered dietitian and an exercise physiologist. And we're all desperate to learn more. First that's of all, right. going back to your cartoon, yes. I mean, do genetics really play a role in how much we weigh? Well, they can have some role in terms of what our muscle mass is and what our bone structure is going to be. But as far as fat, it's an infinite uh, amount of fat that we can always store. So the answer to that is no, because if you look at people, let's say that immigrate from other countries, the biggest complaint that most people have is they say that they gain weight when they move to the United States. Hamburgers and french fries. That's right. And too. everything is supersized and large and big. And the you know, portions lots are crazy. Of, lots They've of gone food. out of control. All That's right. right. Um, so what's the first thing we need to do? Well, I like to think about what is the one thing that people hate when they're trying to lose weight. They don't want to be hungry. So we need to eat foods that give us satiety. So satiety is feelings of fullness. So what are foods that do that? Foods that are high in fiber, so like whole grains and fruits and vegetables. But then the other thing is foods that have fats. Now, you know, in the 90s it was a big deal. Oh, we shouldn't have fats in our diet. But what we've learned is there are healthy fats that we should be having. So, okay, so you, you're touching one of my favorites okay, right there. Is, so over That's here, these palm are fruit fats. oil. Yes, this is Malaysian palm fruit oil. You, what color is that? It's like red. Yeah, so it has antioxidants in oh. it. So in addition to being an oil that's good for your body, it also is good for your insides. And what's really nice is that this is the proprietary ingredient that's found in Smart Balance that helps to lower your cholesterol. Like we've heard a lot about olive oil being a good fat, but this is just monounsaturated fat. So this has mono and polyne. That's canola right next to you. This one right here. Yeah. And so now that's they also insert good. the omega-3s and stuff? I mean, we're just trying to get superfoods here. That's good. <laughs> that's great. And so I also have almonds, which are a great snack. And I love these 100 calorie snack packs because this way you don't overeat it. Yeah. Right? You just tear open a pack at a time. And then, you know, honestly, <laughs> I can't have nuts a part of my diet unless I have tiny packs because I'll sit there. If I have a jar, I'll You'll do the, the whole, whole thing. thing. I'll kill it. I, I know. Will. It's right. right. We've got tuna, salmon. I've got avocados here. You and know, these are also healthy fats? Yes, they are. They have healthy fats. And what's really nice about them is that they're really good grab-and-go fats. So, for example, there's a mom in the green room. You know, she could put that in her diaper bag and take that with her. You can take that to work with you. You can usually I've get a that. salad someplace. Even if you go yeah, to a fast food fat. restaurant, you can get a salad there, and then you could put that on top. Very good. Very good. What about dairy? Dairy products. Um, big fan of dairy products, milk, yogurt, cheeses. Um, with with uh, milk and yogurt, you want to try to choose fat-free when you can. But there are other benefits to having dairy products like probiotics, which are good okay. for your gut health, right, for our intes intestinal health. And then sometimes for people that can't get enough of it or maybe need a little bit extra because they need more help than they can get from foods is taking a probiotic like this Core Lab probi probiotic. Is, I hear a lot about probiotics. I yeah. hear a lot with yogurt and stuff. What is this? Well, these are supplements that you can take for example oh, okay. let's say you don't have access to yogurt like I'm flying home later tonight so if I don't get yogurt in the airport I would you know consider taking something oh, like okay. this so that you know my gut health is working properly because very we, good. you don't want to get sick antioxidants very important and I'm a big fan of getting nutrients from food so I've got grapes here I've got blueberries a lot of benefits to having green tea and what's really cool is that there's this other product called synthenine which is an amino acid which which and is made right by the same process, yeah, as, as brewing, you know, as making green tea, what they use. Oh, I like that. And That's what this easier. does is it helps you to stay calm and focused. Oh, right? very and good. And energy. So you have that energy without the hyperactivity and without the, And you these know, are the, mindful mints. I think yes. we can take some and have them before the show next time. <laughs> that would be a good idea. I can focus. All right. Thanks so much. Oh, again, my pleasure. The book is really interesting. 
It's Living Skinny in Fat Jeans. For more information, you can always go to the website, FeliciaStoller.com. You see it right there on your screen. And still to come, the new movie, No Strings Attached, is out today. Find out what critics think ahead. And next, where to take the kids this weekend to see their favorite Disney characters on.